Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of AIC TV. I'm Edward Carr, your host, in conjunction with Dukascopy TV. And today in the studio with me is Susan Tabergian. She is the director of the Geneva Writers Group and Conference. Susan, for our viewers out there, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? We were just talking before we came into the studio, and you've been in Europe quite a while. I'm hail from New York. I came here to do some graduate work in Europe and fell in love with a Frenchman and moved to Europe. So I've been in Europe for 55 years. I've kept my New York accent, married to a Frenchman, six children, really started writing full time when the older ones were off at university, published uh, four books, and decided I wanted to share this passion for writing and started the Geneva Writers Group. Wow, that sounds great. Sounds like your own story has a book in it or two as well, huh? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Wonderful. So what made you start the Geneva Writers Group? What was the inspiration? We go back to 20 years ago, and at that time I was leading the writing workshop at the American Women's Club. And I realized that there was a very broad base of people interested in writing, men and women, not mm -hmm. just women, published, not published, young, old. And I thought to start a series of workshops, I called them the Saturday workshops at the Café du Soleil, on Saturday because it was open that way to professional people who had jobs during the week. Mm -hmm. And that's the Geneva Writers Group, 20 years ago. Wow, it sounds like it's, it's had a tremendous amount of history, 20 years. There were 18 of us, mm -hmm. and we're over 200 now, English language writers from all different nationalities. Most of us, of course, are expats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming from 30 different countries. Wow, 30 countries. So what made you set up the actual conferences, the Geneva Writers Conference? So we started the Geneva Writers Group at the Café du Soleil in Petit Saconnet in 1993. Mm -hmm. And five years later, I felt that we could do more than a Saturday workshop, that we could have a conference. There had been a conference in Bern and one in Zurich for Swiss English language writers, and I wanted to make it international. I had already taught at several conferences in the States, mm -hmm. so I proposed to our steering committee, let's do a conference. Mm -hmm. And we right away went from 50 to 100. We doubled, we kept doubling. And we're at Webster University, who has welcomed us royally. And our workshops are at the Geneva Press Club, when okay. we outgrew Café du Soleil. Mm -hmm. And the conference is at Webster. Sounds great. So it's really growing. Well, what was new at the conference this year that just recently took place? Probably what was, it was an added, an additional panel. We have parallel workshops teaching fiction, nonfiction, poetry. And then we have panels on publishing, the business of writing. And we added a panel on alternative publishing because of the chaotic publishing scene that exists today. Mm -hmm. The self-publishing, indie publishing, agent-assisted publishing, independent bookstore publishing. So there was this added three panels instead of two. Okay. Then again, we always have new instructors mm -hmm. and this brings in the new life. We spend a great deal of time researching and looking for authors who are acclaimed, but who also know how to teach, mm -hmm. and who are generous mm -hmm. with their time, their craft, and their skills. Great. Well, I can't say that I'm, I'm an expert in the publishing industry or anything, but I notice over the last several years with the introduction of the internet and other technologies, it seems like almost anyone can go out these days and self-publish and get a book in motion. Yes, and it's good. Mm -hmm. There's still the traditional publishing, and there is self-publishing, which we call indie publishing or print-on-demand, internet, all, and I think it's increasing. Mm -hmm. It certainly is increasing the number of books published, but I think it's also increasing the number of readers. Sure. There is, we're unfortunately losing so many independent bookstores, mm. but I think we're gaining in readership. Mm-hmm. It seems like everyone these days, whether I'm on a train or a plane, they all have the iPad or the Kindle or the e-reader, and everyone is reading. It seems like it's really making a comeback. I think books are still there also. Oh, absolutely. Paper They're not going to go away. Paper books. Well, wh what, made, what made your conference such a resounding success this year? It's been, first we are Rode. We've had practice because it's the ninth. Every two mm -hmm. years. We started then in 98, and this was the ninth. So... A lot of us know what's going on, where to go. Webster has three different buildings that we use. Mm -hmm. We had the bookstore, the bookshop in one, mm -hmm. gathering space, classes in two others, and then the dining room 
was busy also. We started Friday evening. So the place is wonderful. Mm -hmm. What made it a success? The, the organization, the steering committee that I have that is, took care of all the different meals, bookshop, registrations, the staff, the instructors, the panelists, mm -hmm. and the participants. Mm -hmm. They were of a, the staff recognized that they were of a very high level. Hmm. I think each year, because there's so much interest in writing, mm -hmm. and because there are all these workshops sure. and MFA programs, people are writing better. Mm -hmm. So the level is growing. Great. And then there's a professionalism. Mm -hmm. One half of the people who were there, 200 participants this year, plus 16 staff, so about 220 people. One half of them are based in Geneva. And these are people who know the importance of friendship and support. So sure. we have this as a base of the conference. Mm -hmm. Then other writers flew in from, from the United States directly, from Ireland, from the UK, from the Canary Islands, and mm -hmm. even from Iran. We had a writer who flew in from Beirut for the weekend. Wow, so really international. Yes. Is there any typical profile of the participant? It's as varied as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. They're young adults and they're young seniors. Uh, men and women, published writers and not published. A real professional interest in writing, I would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a willingness to, to share what they know. Mm -hmm. There's no competition. We're there to help one another find the direction they want to go in, to deepen their writing, and to encourage them to take their words out into the world. We're, okay. we're pretty, we realize the importance of writing. Mm -hmm. So what do participants go away with from the conference after they go through one of these events? Instruction, because they've had the workshops on craft and fiction, nonfiction, poetry. Networking and learning about publishing. Friendships. Mm -hmm. Inspiration, I would say. Mm -hmm. We need the voice of writers. Sure. We need the solidarity of writers. We're, it's important also that we're in Geneva, because mm -hmm. Geneva is international. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank all of the different organizations in Geneva that support our Geneva Writers Group, mm -hmm. from the Press Club to Webster to AIC to AIWC to the Press, the Tribune de Genève did a short article about our conference, the mm -hmm. Tribune du Lac, uh, Geneva Lunch, all these different organizations, WRS, mm -hmm support us and we feel part of the community mm -hmm. and we want to be part of the community. Absolutely. This Look. links us to International Pen mm -hmm. and the fact that International Pen is an association of writers worldwide starting 1922 saying that literature has no barriers. Mm -hmm. Well writers don't so there's a solidarity. Right. We come together and we go out mm -hmm. to take our words mm -hmm. into the world. Sounds great. How would one go about getting more information if they want to find out about the group or about other future upcoming conferences? Do you have a website you could point the viewers towards? There is a website. Thank you. It's www.genevawritersgroup.org, all one word, Geneva Writers Group. And our program is on the website. We also have a Facebook page mm -hmm. that's very active. I think we even have a Twitter account. I do too, but I don't use it that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're out there and mm -hmm. we welcome the, the workshops on Saturday are open. We just ask for registration so that we know the logistics, how many chairs to set up, mm -hmm. but they're open. We do have membership. Membership allows one to read in the afternoon, to go to master classes, to post their news on the website, mm -hmm. to submit. We have a Geneva Literary Prize that every year that comes out in the spring. It keeps growing and evolving, and that's what's wonderful. Sure. Of the 18 people we started with, there's still nine or 10 with us. Fantastic. So it's this wonderful friendship that leads us forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Susan, thank you so much for coming by the studio today and sharing some, uh, some thoughts with us on the Geneva Writers Group. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Edward Carr, your host, in conjunction with Duke Escopi TV. Aspiring authors, check it out. Go to the website, attend one of the conferences on Saturday, Geneva Writers Group. Stay here for more future interviews. Thank you.